We are discussing the difference between tu and usted. The reason why is so that we can speak directly to someone and do so appropriately. Now, there are two reasons it matters to know the difference between tu and usted. The first one is to show either um, knowing them or being a little more respectful, so the level of comfort. And the second one is that the verbs actually change conjugation, so they change the form, depending on whether you're using tu or usted. Now here are a couple terms you want to know. Informal. Now informal means more casual. So someone you hang out with regularly, someone you see a lot, someone um, it's a little more casual. However, formal denotes a little more respect. Okay, and I would usually say formal is kind of matched if you would call someone sir or ma'am, I would use the formal one. Usted, ud, this is a little abbreviation. It is just usted for short. And make sure that the U is capitalized. All right, here's a chart about tu and usted. So you can see we're going to fill in this side in a moment. So my head can get in the way. All right, in regards to tu, tu is the more informal one. Remember, that means more casual. So any of your friends, family members, people that are your age or younger can be more casual with, um, children, pets, anything like that. And I have a little dot by family because depending on who you're talking to, uh, some people use tu and some people would use usted. If you would say sir or ma'am to your parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, then you can use usted there. But most people for family just use tu. Now along those lines, we want to fill in usted. It's kind of the opposite of tu. It's a little more formal. Usted denotes a little bit more respect for somebody. Um, so usually, instead of someone your age or younger, it would be someone older than you. Okay? So someone older than you, like a teacher, uh, can be grandparents, things like that. Family, instead of family, maybe... Someone in a position of authority that you'd want to be a little more polite to, like the principal or the president. Instead of friends, you're not going to be as casual because maybe you don't know them or you don't know them as well. So, people you don't know well. So this could be someone you've met one or two times or a complete stranger. And children or pets. Or you could just use usted to be polite, to provide a little more respect. Although usually you wouldn't use usted with um, most of these. And I forgot my marker. All right. Here's the difference verb-wise, and you'll see these charts later. Tu is conjugated in this form, and usted is conjugated in that form. Even though they both mean you, the less formal and the more formal change the actual verb, which is important to know. Here are the examples to practice. Please pause the video to copy these down. Here's how you do this set of examples. I've given you in English some examples of people you know or would meet, and all you need to do is write a tu next to them or an usted next to them. Remember, write your example and then whether it's tu or usted. We will discuss the answers in class.